do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students let us solve the next question question number 3 of jwe advanced physics paper 2014 so let us start with question number 3 Friends, let us start with the question number three of this JWE Advanced Physics paper of 2014. The question is: One end of a taut string of length three meter is a string having length of three meter along the x-axis. So it is. Uh, lying on uh, x axis the length is 3 meter is fixed at x is 0 so <clears throat> i'll consider this as the origin and the string moves along the x axis up to a distance of uh, 3 meter this end is fixed the other end is free the speed of the waves in the string is 100 meter per second the speed is 100 meter per second the other end of the string is vibrating in the y direction so this free end other end is the free end that is vibrating in y direction so this uh, end is moving in this vertical direction y so that the stationary waves are set up in the string so when you start vibrating and continuously doing so this wave will uh, be transferred will move along this x axis towards the origin and gets reflected back so the incident wave will travel towards the origin and then will be reflected back because that is a fixed end so from the fixed end the waves will be reflected back so there is a continuous travel of incident wave and reflected wave and because of the superposition you will have a stationary wave so a stationary wave is formed uh, set up in the string that is given the stationary wave this is the stationary waves that are produced in the string the possible wave form of these stationary waves is the possible wave form so what is the equation of that what is the equation of that uh, stationary wave that is formed we know that in general the uh, equation of a simple harmonic progressive wave and uh, when we add two simple harmonic progressive wave we get uh, the resultant is the uh, stationary wave that equation also we know so depending on various types of incident wave and reflected wave we will have uh, different uh, types of stationary waves but whatever is that always it is of the form we know that uh, for a progressive wave which is uh, going like that y1 and which is coming like this that is y2 this wave is uh, say a 1 sin omega t minus kx and here it will be so it will be of this type this sign can be cos or it can be minus this can be plus this can be minus so by various permutations combinations the if i have this type of situation the stationary wave is like uh, this is a1 a1 both the waves are same amplitude because the same wave is reflected back without any loss the amplitude remains the same so i have uh, 2a1 then uh, sin of uh, omega t and uh, cos of kx something like that will get but basically what i want to say is that the y will have in general the this is the amplitude of antinode this is the amplitude of antinode that is formed in stationary wave in the question it is given as a in all so i suppose that this is a then uh, in general equation then you can have this is sin omega t cos kx this can be cos omega t as well this can be sin kx as well both can be sin both can be cos as well so both can be sin 
and both can be cos. So one sine, one cos, or both can be sine and both can be cos. So here sine cos, here sine cos, here sine cos, here sine cos, sine cos, something like this. So basically, <coughs> all are the equation of stationary wave. There is no doubt about that. But which uh, are the stationary waves? The possible waveforms of these stationary waves. But out of these, which harmonics basically? are uh, present that depends on the um, situation that we'll discuss this end is fixed this is a free end this is a three meter so the minimum mode of vibration the first harmonic will be like this this is the antinode this is antinode because the free end the this end is free so uh, antinode is formed here and node is formed here so this is the minimum or fundamental mode of vibration that the the string vibrates like that and it is just like a uh, closed organ pipe that we we'll know that uh, for a closed organ pipe the fundamental frequency uh, we have calculated in case of uh, closed pipe the fundamental frequency is uh, b upon 4 l that we have learned if I compare that to this, then uh, this, uh, uh, as we have uh, already studied that uh, in case of closed pipe, the fundamental frequencies are V by 4L. Then uh, next uh, harmonics that we will have is uh, 3V by 4L, then 5B by 4L and so on. Or the multiple of this fundamental frequency. And if I talk about the wavelength, so velocity is uh, frequency into wavelength if i compare that the velocity divided by whatever is that that is the wavelength so this is the wavelength so in the first case uh, in terms of wavelength if i write this is in terms of frequency this is in terms of wavelength the so first wavelength is 4l next you will have 4l by 3 then corresponding to this the wavelength will be 4l by 5 then 4l by 7 and so on so that means we will have these are the wavelengths possible and here this is this length is 3 meter this length of the string is 3 meter so and the distance between node and anti node is lambda by 4 so distance between node and anti node this end is anti node this end is node which is lambda by 4 and this length is also 3 meter that is also equal to 3 meter that means lambda equals to 12 so lambda equals to 12 is possible and you can see here that 4 into l l is 3 so 4 into 3 is 12 that is possible and the here also 12 is there here also 12 is there this is possible okay <clears throat> so first of all uh, we have to note one more thing that if you think of the situation like at x is 0 and this is x is 3 this is the length of the string at x is 0 that should be a node node is found here that should be a node and if i put x is equal to 0 in any of these equations then that y value is 0 obviously that is a node that means as far as this condition is concerned for x is 0 all satisfy the condition if i put if i find the velocity of the wave the velocity of the wave given is uh, 100 meter per second we'll see in which we have velocity is 100 for velocity is omega by k in the first case if i find the omega this is uh, omega and this is k coefficient of x is uh, k and coefficient of t is omega so if i divide 50 pi by 3 for uh, option 1 for uh, so for option 1 if i check the velocity 
the velocity for option 1 is uh, omega by k which is found to be 50 pi divided by 3 divided by k which is pi by 6. If I cancel this, 3 to the 6, it is 100. 100 meter per second. So for option 2, let me check. Option 2, you can see here, I am just checking out the velocity for all this because the, the velocity is this. If any one of them, them is not satisfied, then that is not the equation. So I have to check all these three things. First two important point is that I have to see that in all these equations represent at x equals 0 the load and the velocity of each of the options given uh, stationary waves they have the velocity of uh, 100 meter per second the option one says 100 meter per second next the second option the omega is 100 pi by 3 100 omega by k again i'll do that 100 pi divided by 3 and k is pi by 3 so this is divided by k that is pi by 3 pi pi cancel 3 3 cancel again it is 100 meter per second for option number 3 again we'll check find the velocity which is omega by k for option number 3 this is the omega and this is the k 250 pi by 3 divided by pi pi by 6 pi pi by 6 pi pi cancels 3 to the 6 and uh, 5 5 the 25 50 50 to the 100 so it is also 100 meter per second similarly option 4 if i see option 4 velocity is again omega by k in option 4 the omega part is uh, 250 pi and k part is 5 pi by 2 so this is 5 pi cancel 550 to the 100 so that means as far as the nodal consideration node considerations and velocity considerations then all options are correct but then we can test which of these is correct so therefore we are looking for the wavelength because uh, the mode of vibration of the string will be odd multiple of this fundamental frequency or the wavelengths are like so. So out of this some harmonics are not present, the even harmonics are not present. So only these are the present uh, wavelengths. So we will see uh, in which case we have this. So this one is 12. If I substitute this value here, 4L, 4L is uh, 12 divided by 3 that is equal to 4 this is how much 12 divided by 5 this is 12 divided by 7 if i continue like that similarly uh, i have uh, 12 by 9 12 by 11 12 by 13 12 by 15 and so on these are the wavelengths possible now <coughs> from this uh, i have to find the uh, what are the wavelengths I am getting here from option number 1 to 4? I will proceed and check whether I am getting the same wavelengths that will match our uh, uh, odd harmonic wavelength. So, in option number 1, this is our k, which is pi by 6. So, k is pi by 6, and k is 2 pi by lambda. So from here, lambda equals to pi pi cancel 12. Lambda is 12. That means this 12 is there in the option. You can see these are the wavelengths which are produced in the string. So the string vibrates with this, this type of wavelengths. So 12 is there. So that is okay. Then that is possible. This is possible. So option 1 is correct. Then option number 2. For option number 2, as you can see here, this is your k, pi by 3. So k is pi by 3, which is 2 pi by lambda. So from here, pi pi cancels, lambda becomes 6 meter. But unfortunately, 6 is not there because after 12, it is 4 is there. 
so that means this stationary wave equation is not possible so if option 2 is wrong this is wrong this is possible and we have to again check for 3 and 4th option the third option for option 3 the k is given as pi pi by 6 that in, that equals to 2 pi by lambda so from here pi pi cancels lambda equals to 12 by 5 if I see the option so for wavelength you can see here 12 by 5 is there so that is possible so the option number 3 is also correct this is possible now let us solve for option number 4 where k is pi pi by 2 so k is pi pi by 2 which is 2 pi by lambda because k formula is 2 pi by lambda so pi pi cancels lambda becomes 4 by 5 now let us see whether 4 by 5 is possible or not yeah, 4 by 5 so because this is always in 12 so i'll do one thing i multiply 3 here multiply 3 here to check uh, the answer quickly this is 12 by 15 whether 12 by 15 is possible because yes it is possible because this is odd number 12 by 15 is there this is also possible so option number 4 is also correct so therefore to question number 3 of this problem if i send a uh, incident wave at the free end of a 3 meter long string kept horizontally and one end is fixed other end is free the wave will travel and then reflected back and the superposition will give you stationary wave then which of the following uh, options uh, better gives you the equation of uh, stationary wave which possible waveform of these stationary waves are possible then uh, 1 3 and 4 are possible because uh, the wavelengths are matching and uh, for option number 2 the wavelength is not matching so that is not possible otherwise uh, the four have uh, the uh, for two standards they are matching that is for nodes all the equations represent nodes at origin and uh, all the stationary waves given uh, indicates the velocity of the wave incident wave which is uh, 100 meter per second so that two conditions satisfied but in case of wavelength that is not satisfied therefore one three and four are the correct options okay thank you